है एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू वी एफ एक्स वाई वंस अगेन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ सीरीज एंड इट विल बी बेस्ड ऑन अनरियल इंजन मेनी ऑफ यू रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक अनरियल वीडियो फ्रीक्वेंट एंड आई थॉट टू स्टार्ट अ सीरीज ऑफ एनी पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सो टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी मटीरियल्स यस वी आर गोइंग टू सी मटीरियल्स इन साइड अनरियल इंजन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एन ओके as you can see over here i have my unreal open and it's pretty basic template i have opened right you can start with any template and if i am going to hit control and space bar i'll have my content browser so in content browser i am going to create one new folder and i'll name it my materials so that will be my folder and inside folder i am going to create my first material right so you have to do right click and you have to go over here and you can add materials right also you can go over here like you can go over here and you can add materials but uh, you have shortcut over here so i'm going to click it and i'll name it m m for material and underscore intro or i can type material intro like this and i'm going to hit enter right after doing that just you have to double click on it what will happen your material editor will open right so i am going to dock it over here that's the way how i like to work right so first thing first let's understand material editor this is our material graph where you are going to do all works related to material here in palette you can easily see we uh, have palette probably you can have like this but if you want just do this and you can pin it right so i am having everything related to material and texture over here right and you can select it as per your requirement so here we have groups as well if you want to work with atmosphere you can take this for blending for blends for chroma keying color composer anything related to texturing and materials you can check it from here right let's come over here we have multiple options here like home hierarchy live updates these are useful but i am not going to explain each and everything in today's class probably in later classes definitely i am going to do that here you have stats like you can have all statistics related to a material over here you you are going to create or you are creating right also you will have platform stats where you can see your stats if mainly if you are creating any anything related to your mobile platform you will have all those stats over here over here you will have your material preview right you can scroll to zoom in zoom out or you can hit left click you can orbit around right uh, apart from that here you have preview mesh so if you want to select cylinder you can select it if you want to select sphere you can select it if you want to select plane you can do it if you want to select box you can do it if you want to select your own mesh also you can do just you have to go to here and it will say you need to select a mesh based asset in content browser to preview it so what i am going to do just again control space bar and you have to go to starter content and probably i can go to shapes if i want suppose that this shape i can select it and if i am going to click over here you will have your that particular shape as a preview mesh right now if you want you can go back to your sphere apart from that if you are going to select your material over here you will have all the details related to this particular material over here right any node you are going to select there will be detail panel right every option related to that particular node will be in your detail panels right also you will have parameters later on we'll see so in detail panels basically uh, physical materials related to material right apart from that in material you have material domain right what material domain will do it will allow you to work like if you want to work for surface decals you are working for decals or you are working for light functions or volume or post process you can select over here in this case i am going to work for surface so i have to select surface from here right also blend mode will help you to understand what kind of material you are going to create so if you are going to create opaque material you have to select template for opaque material also you can select mask material translucent additive modulate alpha alpha holdout you can select it from here right 
So if I'm going to select mask, you can see over here, I have multiple option enabled and few options are grayed out, right? So if I'm going to select like mask, so multiple options are enabled over here, like opacity mask and few things, right? If I'm going to select translucent, multiple options are grayed out, very few options are enabled. So these are basically templates where you can select what you want to create, right? So for this case, I'm going to use opaque. Also, you have shading model like default lit. If I'm going to select unlit, it won't react lighting and multiple options are like disabled, right? So if you want to create triple S materials, you have to select triple S surface, right? So that's the pretty basic thing you can select over here. If you want to create hair, you have to select hair option, right? For this case, I'm going to use default lit. It will be very basic on default. Also, you can enable two-sided and multiple options are there, which we are going to see later in coming sessions, right? Very first thing first, what are these? Base color, metallic, specular, roughness, anisotropy, emissive, normal, tangent, world position. So what are these, right? Let's start with base color. Base color means what kind of color you want your material to be, right? So suppose that I want red color or I want something black color or I want white color. So you have to give input to this base color that what you want to connect, right? So here in palette, we have multiple things, right? So let's start with very basic colors. So to select colors, we have few options like we have constants like in Photoshop, a blank layer filled with red color. So that particular red color layer will be like treated as a constant in Unreal Engine materials, right? So we have multiple constants like constant. So if you want to add any node from palette, what you have to do, just click and drag. So you will have a single valued constant node inside your graph, right? So if I'm going to connect this simple, just you have to go over here and just connect it. So zero means black, one means white. So if I want white colored base color, so what I have to do, I have to put one over here. So it will be white, right? Since my this node is selected, I can see the value. I can change value from here or value from here as well. So 0.5 will be gray, neutral gray. 0.1 will be dark gray towards black, 0.8 will be gray, but towards white, right? So that's the way how I can change, right? Now, apart from one constant or constant, I have multiple options like constant vector two. Now I have constant vector three. Now I have constant vector four. Now let's understand what are those, right? So as in one constant, we have one value to work, in two constant, we have two values to work like X and Y. In color terms, we can say it's red and green, right? So if I'm going to connect this also, you can, you can, uh, you have to understand if you want to disconnect this, you have to hold alt and click the connection will break, right? Either you can click and drag like this, or you can right click over here and you can connect with any input, like I am going to connect to base color, something like that. It will automatically connect it, right? So if I'm going to change X and Y value, like one, so it will be red, as you can see. If I'm going to change Y to one, it will be yellow. Why? Because red and green together will produce yellow, right? So if I'm going to use 0.5 red and 0.5 green, it will be something like that. So now you understand one vector will work on one either zero or black like bitmap. Two constant will work with red and green value, right? Same way if I'm going to disconnect it and I'm going to connect it, same way we have three values like red, green and blue, right? So if I'm going to put value one, it will be red. If I'm going to put zero over here and one over here, it will be green. Same way, I'm, if I'm going to put zero over here and one over here, let me do that, it will be blue. And if I'm going to put everything on one, it will be like white. Because if you are going to mix our base color or primary colors in full intensity, it will be white. 
right so that's how three constant vector works right now we have another constant called constant 4 where we will have our alpha value right so that's the basic thing you need to understand we have we have one value either zero or black we have two value red and green we have three value red green and blue and we have four value red green and blue and alpha as well right so that's the way how we can use it right now suppose that i have this connected to this and if i want to change any color so i can do by changing these values or double click over here and i can select any color from here as well right suppose it you want to change the intensity of this color so you have to go over here or you have to go over here and you need to change it but what happened i don't want to go from here or here to change the intensity i want to change it from here as well in terms of a value suppose that i want to put a value and intensity should change so what we can do that can be possible as well so let me do that and i'll show you how easily we can do I can put it over here and I can select everything. I can hit C to add comment and probably I'll say constant. As I showed you to take these constant from here, there are shortcuts as well, right? So if you are going to hold one numeric key one and you are going to click left click, your one constant will come. If you're going to hold two and left click, your two vector will come. If you're going to hit three and left click, your three vector will come. If you're going to hit four and left click, your four vector will come. So this is the also another way to add nodes inside node graph. Also, you can right click and you can type constant and your constant will come. Just click, constant will be added or any node can be added like this as well. Also, you can hit tab and also you can type. So these are three, four options where you can add nodes. Also, you can do this, click and drag and left click and you can type like constant one more time and you can add constant, right? So these are the way how you can add our nodes inside our node graph. Suppose that I want blue color like this and let's connect it, right? Suppose that I want to control intensity. So how I can do that? I have to take another node or another blend option, which we call multiply. So either you can right click and you can type multiply inside math or you can hold M and left click multiply will come and in multiply we have two values like from which we want to multiply what right so suppose that i want to multiply this and let's connect this so what will happen we have incoming and it's outgoing and it's multiplying with one because it's again it's a value so i'm going to change it two so what will happen Again, intensity will change, but I don't want to uh, change it from here. I want controller. So I can hold one and left click. Your one constant will come and I can connect it. So anything is going to multiply with zero will become black and I'm going to 0.5. It will become dark towards gray. It will one. It will be in full value. This color will be in full value. And if I'm going to put it two, it will be again brighter right so by using multiply you can change your intensity or you can control your intensity inside node graph as well right also apart from multiply i have another node called add right i'm going to use add so you can use add as well to add anything or add something right suppose that same color i am going to use and i'm going to take one constant and i'm going to connect it another thing i want to tell you that if you want to see preview of this node what you have to do just right click and start previewing so you can easily see i'm getting this and if i'm going to add 0.5 let's see it's going towards white also if i'm going to add 2 to it so this node will be different and this node will be different like if I'm going to multiply anything, the result will be different. And if I'm going to add same value to this node, the result will be different, right? So if I'm going to stop preview and if I'm going to connect it, you can easily see results are different, correct? So if you think that this video will help you to understand materials, do comment in comment box. I'm definitely going to bring 
more basic tutorial to advanced tutorial for materials as well. And hopefully this series will help you to understand Unreal's material system in a better way.